Do you have an anthem? A summer anthem? How does this one sound? Summertime and building credits easy. That's a song from a play. That's the song you'll be singing all summer long with our secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. A better way to build credit. Tee hee. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. You can send and receive free money with the Chime checking account. Pay friends through Chime, no matter what bank account they use, and cash out your money fee-free. Start building your credit up. Open a Chime credit account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank and a member FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On-time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. So I think if you and I... <laughs> I look... No, okay. So I think I, I read that the upper 90%... Okay, wait. 90% of OnlyFans, people make less than $150 a month doing it. So 90% just, of OnlyFans creators yes. make less than $150 a month. Yeah, so when people post like, I'm in the top 5%, it must mean like, you make yeah. a lot of money a year. And I okay. hate when people count my money. Like, you do, yeah. If... <laughs> Mark, yeah, right. Okay. It's pretty spry though. Right. Do you see how fast yeah. he threw himself on the floor? <laughs> Gee. Did it, did it, did the it. pink panther of bald and the beautiful oh my god that was slinky mark yeah that was slinky if that guys, was slinky for those of you who are stuck in traffic listening to this mark just tried to sneakily crawl yeah. across frame without like a panther on the runway yeah by the way knowing us even if you stayed out of frame do you think we were gonna act like that was normal <laughs> that wasn't normal <clears throat> I love it. Step, it's not stepping in, slinking in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, OnlyFans. Yeah. Um, if you and I, I think that 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 ninety percent less number, that number, I think it's because people who are good at porn make it look easy, right? Content creation. Pure, even if mama, you're having sex, mama, if you're doing mama, videos mama, braiding your mama, hair, mama, making mama, videos is hard. Mama. It's very hard. Even if you're just talking to the camera, making I videos am, is work. I'm gonna scream. I'm about to scream. And I think porn people probably get into it, a lot of them thinking it's going to be easy, but them sex workers are part-time videographers, part-time social media workers. Like, fucking is such a small amount of what they do to be successful. Um, they're li literally, um, uh, uh, li like, uh, how do you call that? Like, the coordination of the uh, social, like, um, hook, uh, securing the hookup. Yeah. Scheduling the hookup. Yeah. You know, what I mean? traveling for the hookup. Yeah. Like, diversifying the, the, the partner pool. All that stuff. Yeah. Mary, let me tell you something. As a, as a, as a, not regrettably, but slightly ashamed, avid user of OnlyFans, uh -huh. I can tell you that over 90% of OnlyFans creators have horrible video Content. work. Content. Mama, now the dark. Are you talking the quality? No lighting. Bad framing. Uh huh. No editing. Bad sound. Now, sound, no sound. Because I think sound How about matters. So I want to hear the pussy lips click. Don't film in the shower. Don't film in the shower. People because are filming in the shower. You know what I hear when you're filming in the shower? Get out of the shower. Get out. Get out of I the shower. I want your OnlyFans content to be like the tub in The Shining. Mama. Are you <laughs> that curtain opening. It's not a shower. It's a bath. Yeah, it's a bath. Thank That's a good you. point. And it's a beautiful bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. Unless you have an hotel. Art Deco bathroom, Get I don't want to see you it. fucking in it, honey. I'm not paying nine ninety nine a month, sweetie. <laughs> I know the HGTV star in me when I watch the bathroom porn is like, but look at that tile work. I know. Oh, the ground. You know, <laughs> if they had a skylight, oh, you know. I can't. I, I listen. I have been scammed. I've been scammed more times than I would care to admit. Girl, I have been nothing. scammed. Scam likely. And you've been on OnlyFans, so I've you're been on a creator yourself. I've, I've been a creator. I've been a scammer. Not really. Not really. I never promised anything that I didn't deliver on. Excuse and me. And people very, who follow me. you know to They expect. know they're not going to see my penis ball and testy. And they know that they might not get content for years. Oh, hello. You're on your own schedule. Thank you. I never said anything. I never I never said I was the best mother in the world. Give me a little credit, will you? <laughs> credit for being someone who tried to love you the only way she knew how. <laughs> no, but I recently paid $30. $30 to buy this video from this guy. 
I want to. I want to. You paid thirty paid bucks. Thirty. You could get the Harry Potter seven film collection. So you hate trans women. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean you could get like Star Wars trilogy. Of course, I could in, get in bl- like half HD. a tank of gas. I get half a tank of gas and go. Uh, use that uh, gas to go to that person's house and slap them on the face and demand my thirty dollars back. For thirty bucks, you could have fucked you know them in real got? life. Do you know what I got? You know what I got what for thirty dollars? What was the video? It was a like twelve second, darkly, poorly lit, badly framed, um, blurry video of him not even having an erection. It was a true, straight up scam. It was a. So but you it was paid for like actually a, a scam. personalized video. It was. I bought fake drugs on the streets of Amsterdam. That's what it was. That's what it was. You want to That's what it was. You don't want to out them. Uh, no, I want to kill them behind the scenes. Well, I don't want you to embarrass them as a creator. No, 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 but I would if never they are, do that. If they are a grifter, I no. hope they stop. If you know who you are and you hear this, please but, stop. That's this disappointing. Is about, but yes, but this is about like, this You're, is a different type of media literacy, a different type of street smarts that you have to develop in the digital world. Like, but it's you, also like, call the Better Business Bureau, bitch. <laughs> like they lied to you. Well, I, yeah, no shit. So all I have, to, what I have to do is be like, be, do my due diligence and be like, okay, shut the door in that spiritual realm. You could probably get a refund. You could probably get OnlyFans to refund you. Oh, that's, that's be interesting. Like, this is what was sent to me. For $30? But I think that they count on the 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 shady or shadowy or shameful um, act of purchasing sex and sex-related items to like, you don't want to go public. But like, the hooker I got had a weenie that, that didn't satisfy me. You know, like, right. you, you don't want to scream about it they in the public on square. You, like not wanting to tell people. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, even want to, I didn't even want to tell it right now. But I felt compelled to. You launched right into it. <laughs> I didn't even want to tell it. You made me. Roll back the tape. She's like, I was robbed. I was so, man, there are, because I know many of my friends and um are have very lucrative careers on OnlyFans. There is, they're very hard workers. Uh-huh. They work a lot. They have teams of editors and um they have multiple cameras. It's a whole production going on. Beautiful, well-lit, long no, no, scenes. No, 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 no. If, and if, long if, scenes with Penetration. You know, and if I produced porn, yeah. if I was a producer, yeah. I would make it perfectly lit. Yeah, of I would course. make sure a movie. I would make sure people have spray tans, manicures. Yeah. They would look perfect, and yeah. um, I would make sure that actors have food, water, yeah. everything they need, trimix, everything they everything need. Everything they yeah. need. I'd be in there st- stepping in, yeah, needle stepping up in. the ass or whatever. <laughs> a Zempic Wengobi Mandabo <laughs> right up the ass. Well, can I tell you what happens? You know what happens in my porn consumption pattern? I go straight back to Hollywood. I go to Hollywood. All because, roads lead back to Hollywood and Highland. I go to Bruce Willis in Color at Night because you know what I want? I want acting. I want lighting. I want drama. I want framing. So you don't want porn. I want filmmaking. Okay, it seems like you want to see Avatar in the, the, <laughs> no! sh- the Shape of I Water and shit. I want boobs, breasts, titties, and weenies and butts, but I want them all. I just want it beautiful. I like good sound. It yeah, matters no shit. to me. Absolutely. I want to hear that fucking mucus Squelching. membrane, bitch. <laughs> yes, I want to hear that eyeball getting snatched out of the person's. Yeah, and then I want to hear the toes crushing it on the on the carpet of the trailer. I want to hear breath. Yeah, if they're kissing, uh. I want to hear like. Uh. I, like, what are we here for? It needs to be ASMR in a way. Uh. Yeah, but you know, it's the same reason I don't get drunk when I think I'm gonna have sex. Like, because if I think sex is gonna happen, I want you it in feel full it. color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IMAX. I, uh, absolutely. 4D, Muppets 4D. Yeah, you want it 4K. Yeah, 4K. I've been so horny lately. Good for you. No. Is, it, <sighs> is the T-blockers wearing off? No, I wish. I'm ready to go on testosterone. Like, I obviously missed a few puberties. Look at me. I look a more like a, I look more like a piece of sperm. Stop it, stop it. Do you, have you had your levels checked? Because I did that a little while ago with my doctor. No, because I'm honestly, this is not a joke. I'm not being funny. And everybody is on different journeys. I'm afraid they're going to go. You're a girl. You're a woman. You don't have any testosterone. (laughs) You How did you even get a dick? (laughs) Like, I'm afraid. No, I'm afraid they're going to be like, there's, you're, you're. You're, Emergency you're sex not change. necessarily biologically male, <laughs> which wouldn't be a bad thing necessarily. Because I think I'm so gay. My levels are probably like um, yeah. estrogen and testosterone spiking at the same time, full blast. <laughs> like I'm running the heater and the air conditioning at the same time, <laughs> like <You're> hormonally. <laughs> but ever since I quit drinking, I'm horny all the time now. I'm okay. horny all the time. Yeah. I think my my chase like before. Now, I was, how does that manifest? In being horny, yeah, I get I get boners and I think about sex and I want to have it. <laughs> Do you know how it manifests? Poor David laying on the couch, like smoking weed, watching TV. Me walking in, a little poke laying directly in front of him <laughs> and blocking the TV, this close to his face and smiling. I'm ready to do sex now. Yeah, he's in the middle of watching like a movie. 
and he's probably high yeah. watching TV and I come this close to his face and I'm just like, <laughs> I do have, I mean, I've never been diagnosed. I definitely have some communication, um, some, alternative some communication patterns. presenting themselves as they get older. Yes. My, my other new thing is it's not new, but I realized I do it now. I can't stop. What? Oh God. There's a few people? things. No. Oh. One of the big ones is when people say, I call them crispy R's. Once so I was like, oh yeah, I, can I have a graham cracker? Can I have a Krispy Kreme? That's crunchy. That's great. I'm That's... just a girl. When they say that, Krispy Kreme. Who, who says that? You. Uh, Sir Michelle Geller does it. I think it's like a North Atlantic whatever thing. A graham cracker? No, they're like, <laughs> so she's a really great girl. She's a, a great, she's a, it's a great, it's a, a great, cre- it's a creamy crispy cracker. A I'm cr- telling you I've people. I've never no, heard of this before in my life. Now that I've said it, oh, you're going to hear it all the time. Oh no. And my thing is when someone does it. A creamy crispy cracker? Yes. Ah! When someone does it, I have to repeat it. What I have to go. Do? So if you said graham cracker, I would have to go graham, graham cracker. cracker. I have to say it. I also, anything automated voices, I have to say it back. Like, um, oh, um, your call is clear important to us. When they're like, right. now scanning your eyes. I'm like, now, now scanning, scanning your, your eyes. eyes. Or the other big one is, wait. Oh, at the, 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 the walk crosswalk. sign is on. Got I it. can't not say it. So then when I'm crosswalking, I'm like, walk sign is on. I don't, it, maybe I is should make echolalia? it a song. Is that is that echolalia? Look it up. A compulsion to like repeat, to repeat. what I just heard. Yeah, yeah. But I only walk, for certain walk, things. Walk, walk, Chris, walk. Uh, she's a she's a really great girl. A she's crispy, great. creamy cracker. I, she's great. She's creamy. She's it, is that isn't that Amy the vowel sound though? Amy does it. A lot of people I know do it, and I can't she, not hear it. But is it about the R or the vowel? It's the R. It's the R. Crispy, really? crunchy, creamy graham cracker. Oh, really? It's like a. That was great. It was a great girl. We need to. We need a linguistic. Um, we need a, like a phonologist or something, a linguistics person in here. My friend Beck and I call it speech crispy R's, and that's not what they're probably officially called. No. <laughs> crispy. Well, it's crispy. I like the chicken because it was crispy. What that the was great. accent is killing me? It's, it's killing me. It's strangling me. Ask, it has uh, a um, chokehold on my psyche. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna say I don't like haunted houses, and I want you to ask me why. I don't like haunted houses. Why don't you like haunted houses? They're creepy. Ah! Creepy. Yeah, wow, They're creepy. Wow. Very a creepy. creepy, creamy, crispy cracker. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I can't yes, not I see say what it. I, I don't like it. Yeah, anything like that. It's, I can't. it's um. Or like the mall is closing in 15 minutes. I have to say it back. Well, that's different. Got to say it back. That's different. Automated, <laughs> automated voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. There's something very bizarre and musical about a phrase oh, being repeated over I and over know. again. Every time I get into the um, uh, an elevator in France. Etage toi, troisième étage, oh. troisième étage, <laughs> quatrième étage, troisième like, étage. Yeah, doors Premier open, étage. doors open, doors open, doors closing. Yeah, I, I, I say it too. Shit Lobby. like that. Sixteenth floor. Shit Lobby. like that. It's Premier étage. Lobby. Yeah. Lobby. Do you know what it, take, you know what it <laughs> takes me back to? French class when we do because you know when you're learning French repeat repeat. you think you know French until you do listening exercises and then when you do listening exercises your brain is like oh right I've learned nothing right um it'd be like première étape listen as Ahmed talks to Twee about their classes talk about what classes they have and where they're going I'm like I have to say it back and then it would be like question de yeah 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 I have to say it back I have to say it back what's wrong with me lobby lobby I, I do the same thing in an elevator, especially. And I sometimes when people are inside it too, like I'm making fun of the voice. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, they're not, they're not going to get it. It's like, who, who's, who wins there? It's like, yeah, I really showed them. Do you have an anthem? A summer anthem? How does this one sound? Summertime and building credits easy. That's a song from a play. That's the song you'll be singing all summer long with our secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. A better way to build credit. Teehee. As in, you can build your credit course score safely with everyday purchases and one-time payments like me. My everyday purchases are like lollipops and like um like roller skates and, and hair clips because I'm a little girl. A girl with hair. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. You can send and receive free money with the Chime checking account. Pay friends through Chime, no matter what bank account they use, and cash out your money fee-free. I love no fees, because I'm just a little girl. 
Chime also has no monthly payments, no minimum balance, and no overdraft fees. Start building your credit up. Open a Chime credit account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank and a member FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Untimed payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Today's Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. So there's been times I have felt, I don't know, I feel like I talk about my whole life on the podcast and in my songs and in my jokes or whatever, but there's also parts of my life I don't talk about and I, I, I've i never talked about and I will never talk about. And, um, you know, they're just private things to me. And one of those things for me is relationship and work balance. Like at any given time, I have, you know, a boyfriend and five friends who probably aren't very happy with me because I don't balance my time well. I don't balance my my relationships well. I don't respect the friendships I have by prioritizing them. And that's just something I am always having to work on. And sometimes in life we're faced with tough choices and the path is not always clear. I mean, sometimes I'm like, God, I'm so focused on my work and, and, and work, 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 work that I really just sometimes let time fly by and forget birthdays. And like, you know, I, I personally am trying to rewire my brain to reprioritize my life. I know for me with talk therapy, being able to just, you know, spit out words and treat my, my therapist and my world as like a giant cork board where I can throw out all these ideas then they're all out there and me and a professional can start putting it in order and we can start being just more effective and more accountable. Do you know what I mean? Like, what am I actually doing to change things? If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. I love not having to leave the house. I am not a driver. I don't like having to take an Uber. Like, it's, it's just nice to be able to do it from home. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Oh my God. I did a pride the other night and I was in an elevator and there was drunk girls in the lobby. Okay. And one of them was getting married and she went up to me and she was like, just drunk, which the night before her wedding, good for her. But also I'm like, I hope you're not hung over tomorrow. Hung over on a wedding day in a dress. Ooh. And she's like, "Um, you're not Trixie. And I was like, yes, I am. She's like, you're not. I was like, yes, I am. And then she's like, you're not. And then her friend is like, if you are, she's obsessed with you. Are you? And I said, yeah. And her friend's like, you're not. And I was like, okay, I'm not. So then they follow me in the elevator and they're blotto. They have wine in the hand. Oh God. And I'm riding up to the 11th floor to my room. And they're getting off on my floor and just like walking and talking. And I was like, and they're like, do you want to go out? And I was like, I can't. I'm going to go get our drag. And they're like, we can wait for you. And I was like, no. Oh, you were in drag. Yeah, I was in drag. <laughs> it was in drag. And then like, her, no, my name is Landon. I'm quitting drag soon. Yeah. And then her, her, <laughs> and then her friend was like, uh, her friend was like, she, you, she can go with you. It's fine. I'll find my, I was like, take your friend, take your drunk bride, bride to be friend. Get your Don't wedding. let her follow into the night. You don't, no. the night before your wedding. Night before your nuptials, you're going to follow drag queens into the night? I don't think so, because you're not coming back, Because if we're woman. going to a bar, I'm sucking cock. Yeah. I'm and, not there for the alcohol she's, anymore. she's filming it with perfect sound and lighting. Hello. <laughs> when I say I'm going to the bar, I'm really going for the behind the bar, okay? <laughs> I'm going to make mild on- eye contact with someone. Yeah. And Because horny. Horny. I, I've talked to a few people who have, when you cut out drinking, they become hornier. Horny all the time. Now it's like, oh, I have to have sex every day. That's what I'm saying. It's really annoying. It's a lot. Just a lot. once? Not every day, but like I'm horny a lot. I think that is perfectly natural for a um, a, a healthy adult um, male of your um, uh, body type. Whatever. I mean, it's better for me than drinking. Well, every anything is better than drinking. I know. Mostly. You know, but drinking is a very it. bad thing. I oh, love drinking. I'm already planning my first drink when I come back and I will be back. <laughs> You're going to hit the ground running. I'll be back. I really want a fresh <laughs> mojito with I'll like ground up. Mint. I th- I'm, I think you know. You mentioned a drink on the uh, something the other day. I don't know what it was. And you're like, uh, like a uh, a flaming um what? It's like a very f- fancy Hot crazy Cheeto? drink. Like a flaming um um uh like a drink that's really difficult for the bartender to make. 
What's the most complicated drink you can think of that would be the most annoying to order? Anything blended. Oh, okay. Margaritas, okay. Okay. ice cream drinks. Most bars will be like, we're just not doing that. We don't do blended margaritas. Is, like it that. isn't an orange Julius. They don't, I don't, wouldn't expect a bar to have a blender, period. Well, if you're like a, a Mexican restaurant. Everybody usually, wants a margarita. Yeah, and they usually want them blended because <sighs> okay. most places don't do it. So when you're somewhere that does do it, you want to partake. And most of those places have margarita machines. Oh, like, so it's like a soda fountain. It's pre-blended. It's a soda fountain. Yeah. Okay. And then they're just sugar adding booze. Yeah, but they're delicious. Sugar. Are they I really? love margaritas. That's tequila or rum? It's tequila. Tequila is made from agave mm -hmm. and it's the only alcohol that's a stimulant. So like if you oh. are ever a little jet lagged or something, like even a, a half shot of tequila. Like, you know, when you have to go somewhere up. and then you have, you land and you have to like go to dinner. Uh, no, I've never been invited, but I can understand the concept. <laughs> well, tomorrow you and I have to go to something. What are we going to? I don't know, but there better be tequila. But I'm going because you said we're going. I didn't say anything. You, I said we're going somewhere. I'm sorry. Do you have me confused for someone else? <laughs> Aren't we going to Amy Poehler's thing tomorrow? Yeah. We're going to go have dinner with Amy Poehler tomorrow. Yeah, we are. Because right? I said so. We're going to dinner with Amy Poehler tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the energy of being called a liar on my own podcast by my guest. Guest. <laughs> guest. 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 <laughs> I, I have to go. I have okay. to go. Your next guest is waiting. The next guest. Is and we're back. If I died, who would you want to step into the bald and the beautiful? It's got to be a bald person or someone willing to shave their head. Absolutely no one. No one. Oh, okay. No, um, no for real. Uh, Natalie stay, Portman. Uh, well, it would be. No, I know. It would be a rotating cast of actresses who have to shave their head for a role. It's a great idea. Wouldn't actually. that be incredible? Yes. To me. Anybody, everybody. We'd go like we'd do AI. We'd go back because we would run out. We wouldn't be able to... Uh, you know, dog that many episodes because there's not that many. You uh -huh. know, it takes a long time. So we'd go back with footage of Demi Moore and G.I. Jane with AI, the uh -huh. mouth and everything. But we'd use her, like I'd interview her with that, um, th with the the visual of her. You know what I mean? Like from press junkets. Like we'd use that footage. So but she's then, not really here. No, her, she's not really here, but she her voice is really here. Yes. It'd be like a CGI James Cameron avatar kind of thing. Very high budget. You would be very impressed and jealous. Yeah. Or like, did you ever see Tron? Yeah. In, when they show the dad young, yes, it's exactly that How type do they of do thing. That? It's frame um, by frame, like they do. Yeah, the, the de aging thing. And they, I was looking on Twitter about a whole like a list of things where the best one was, and I think it was Tron. They got us Blade Runner. They did Maybe. Blade Runner too. I guess I think it is that they did Blade Runner. They got us together on Queen of the Universe this season. Uh -huh. I look good. You look. I don't great. look that good. What the, do you mean? The, the filter, the, the judges table, we are definitely, of course. I'm in like, the, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm in the RuPaul hope. zone now. One would hope. With the though. blending. Yeah. And I'm a good makeup artist, I think, but I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm not that good. That's really good. That's nice. Let me tell you about the human face and about, and things that you can put on it. It's never perfect. No, I could no. go out there. My dream would be to go out with no makeup and just know that it's going to be he in post. Oh, oh right, right, right. Makeup. Well, they'll just put you like the little Nas um, billboard. They'll just put you in front of an outfit. Girl, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not a whistleblower. No, I love I, vitamin water. I love vitamin water and I love Lil Nas, Nas X. X. Me too. But I don't think he's in that picture. No, his face is. There's a billboard of him that I'm like, you didn't have that wig on. That is not your body. No. And you are not holding that drink, which is fine. I Because... There's a no truth in advertising. Talk no, about none. mascara commercials. As if a photo shoot is based in honesty. Like, who cares? Right. Especially, like, advertising uh, photos or videos. When I, I mean, I remember when I was, like, eight years old and I found out the milk and cereal commercials is, like, glue. Elmer's glue. I couldn't believe it. And Imagine it, if you could, a, cream food is shaving cream. a food stylist would just ruin shit. Yeah, you yeah, You make yeah. good-looking food you can't... Like menu of photography, that ain't real food. Cause you know, you go to the Thai restaurants where they do use real photos and it looks like who done it and ran. Of course it tastes delicious when it comes to the table. Do you like picture menus? I, I, I don't actually, because it, I like to kind of know what the food's going to look like. Um, like at a Applebee's menu and they have a picture of the burger. I'm like, great. Love it. I don't trust it. Don't you don't trust, trust it. it. No, I don't trust it. I, I guess you're it. right. What's the point of a picture? Cause it's not going to look like, just that. tell me what's in there. I trust the words and the ingredients for yeah. sure. Of course, they always lie to you when you're white and they say it's spicy. I had an invite last week to go to the White House for like a luncheon thing. Oh, that's right. And I didn't go. Dr. JB. And I would love to go to the White House. I've never been. I was. I feel like everybody's gone to the White House on a school field trip except me. Oh, I, I, I I've never go. gone. I, I didn't go. go. I didn't go either. I bet it's amazing. I mean, whether, whether or oh, not to you, be in the White House. Yeah, whether or not you care about politics, I bet seeing the White House is cool, right? Of course. I've never even seen it in person. I've, me neither. Been to D.C., never seen it. What I'm have sure. you done in D.C.? 
just gigs. I've done town a few times and yeah. shows with you. The you know, Lincoln you, Theater. Uh, oh, the Lincoln. The air conditioning. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Get on up. It's Get on sickening. Up. Lincoln Theater. Oh my God. That should be the, the Lincoln Theater should be the president of the United States. A hundred percent. Whoever's running the AC at the Lincoln Theater. That's your chief of staff. Yeah. Get on up. And I'm not, Get being, on I'm up. not being funny. I'm not being funny. But the Lincoln Theater. Oh. Yes. Extra, extra. The Lincoln Theater. <laughs> what about it? I mean, he wasn't, that's not, he was shot at the Ford Theater, wasn't he? But he's Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, so you think we're all going to get shot when we go to the theater? I don't know. It's just crazy. I'm I also think... not going to get in the Jane Mansfield t- Prius. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a weird thing to associate celebrities with the thing that the killed Hind- them. The Hindenburg. The yeah. Hindenburg. Or like, which is which, a, which the Chevrolet sp- Titanic. Yeah. There's a reason why they don't sell trim spa anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's just, it's, oh. it's like... You know, well, how come heroin's still around? <laughs> I just think if you're a celebrity and you die in a certain way, at yes, a certain place. Right. It, there, it's in bad taste. It's also bizarre um, strategic uh, marketing. Yeah. The the Lincoln Theater. But perhaps it existed uh, long before his death. I doubt that. That is possible. I don't know about that. Look it up. Control room. And then, you know what? It could have been named after another Lincoln. Thank but there's a you. Giant, there's a giant oh. bust of him in there. Yeah, but that maybe that was his brother, Fred. Twin brother. A lot of people don't know that. Fred Lincoln. Yeah, Mary Todd had a twin sister too, Mary Rose Rosemary. Do you think Abraham Lincoln was gay? Yes, he was. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone was gay. Well, I, I I think yes, I think so too. I think so. Well, I think in the future we're all gonna look back and we're gonna be like, people used to say they were gay or straight. I hope so. It's such a stupid thing to be like. I need everyone to know that I only like girls. <laughs> Why do we need everyone to know who we fuck? I think in the future, we will all assume that any of us could fall in love with any of us, and that's it. It won't be interesting. What what a what a what a a hopeful utopian uh fantasy. It'll be like, oh, I just, you know, I'm assuming there will always be more straight people. Um, you know, and I'm assuming we'll all be like, oh, I didn't know he liked other men or something. Yeah. But it's not gonna be I think in the future, coming out day will be like a relic. All yeah. of that. I think also in, in the a good future way. we'll be w- more worried about like fresh water rather than like sexual orientation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, oh, you're a fag. Well, we are gonna have to send you to Mars. <laughs> Not because you're gay, because we have no water. <laughs> right. Mars has more water Mars, than us. Yep. Mars and planet. Venus. Mars and Venus. Men are from Mars. Women are from Mars. Mars. Women are from <laughs> Venus. Men and women. Hey, can you wrap your head around that? Here's <laughs> the the difference between men and women. I would love, we should do a whole st- special. Men have big fucking schlongs that hang out of their crotches and women have holes that they put those fucking schlongs in. What the fuck? And it's fuck? like, ladies, after a long day, you want to, are you kidding me? When you bleed on the office floor and your boss fires you, but then you realize she's a woman, so you touch her pussy? Like, what? <laughs> like, what? I don't know. I do feel it's in, so it, crazy. I do feel in comedy, like, you know, I'm going to say like marketable comedy. I do think women get forced into either being the unfuckable pig or the <laughs> slut. Right. Those are the two. And sometimes the, the gorgeous slut is forced to uh, masquerade as an unfuckable pig. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that has more to do with the, what average people are willing to accept from a woman on stage. They're like, you either have to be the ugly friend yeah. or the hot slut. There is no middle. I'm going to tell you about something in the middle. Of the, and I told, I talked about it last time and I'm talking about it again. If for you, it's going to be very boring because you didn't see it. But I'm going to fucking reiterate that Jacqueline Novak's show, Get On Your Knees, was all about sex and about her, about giving a blowjob and about the male and female anatomy and all this stuff. But it was like, it was the smartest, funniest, uh, most incredible, like erudite. What um, does that mean? Like learned books. Wow. Like book, I mean, this woman is so smart. She's so funny. And she's. It's so, it's just so, it was so dazzling. I've never seen anything like it. Fearless. It was like also very honed. Like she's been doing it for a while, many years. And I think she's going to tape it soon. You have to watch it. It blew, it literally blew my hair off and then my scalp off and I was bleeding all over the floor. Uh, uh, it, but it's Maybe uh, I can go to the taping. It's in New York. Oh. I think it's happening like right now. Oh, I was so fierce at Largo. Anyways, but she's, it was, it wasn't like, yeah. Uh-huh. But that's what I would have wanted. (laughs) (laughs) This episode is sponsored by Smalls. Our next partner has truly made a positive impact on the most important person in my life. No, I'm not talking about Nicole Kidman. I'm talking about my cat, Whimsy. It's 2023. 
Are you still feeding your cat kibble? Now is the time to update your cat food with Smalls. Since trying out Smalls, I've noticed a huge improvement in whimsy from head to tail, including a more pleasant litter box aroma and better smelling breath. Also, her seasonal depression has subsided and she's shown a renewed interest in getting an MFA in creative writing, but that could just be a coincidence. Smalls was created back in 2017 by a couple of guys home cooking cat food in small batches for their friends. Today, Smalls has served millions of meals to cats all across America. Their popularity could have something to do with the fact that Smalls cat food is cooked gently, just like food would be in your kitchen, and they work with leading cat nutritionists to create recipes that are exactly what your cat craves and needs. The team at Smalls is so confident that your cat will love their product that you can try it risk-free. That means they will refund you if your cat won't eat their food. Remember, higher quality ingredients mean a healthier and happier life for your kitty. So head to smalls.com slash bald and use promo code bald at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code bald for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code bald for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. Girl, you know what I can't stop thinking about? What? That gig at Penn State. <laughs> I can't so, wait, stop let me ask about you it. Though, let me ask you, though. As a little black girl from the Brewster Project, I- how did you get the courage to come in here today and look so white? I, know, <laughs> I, I guess I'm just going to tell the short version of it is okay so that the listeners know. Yeah, yeah. Because so, it happened at the plaza yes. the other night. Yes. Okay. Bizarrely. Yes. yes. I was doing a gig. Oh, God. You got a hip replacement. So I, I went did. to perform at Penn State University. She took University. my horrible gig. By the way, thank fucking God. Oh, it was such a fun gig. Everybody oh, was so nice. Yes. The students were lovely. But any college gig, Sucks. it's at 7 p.m. It's yeah. sober. It, no it's drinking. It's carpeted flooring. Yes. It's awkward, right? You know, it's awkward. Um, and it's me and Juju B. So me yeah. and Juju B are kicking it. I haven't seen her since Queen of the Universe yeah. when I eliminated her. So it was like <laughs> nice tension backstage. Um, nice, nice simmering. Yeah, yeah, pot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she was probably there because she thought she'd be booked with you, her old friend. And said, <laughs> I show up, the last person to disrespect her on television. Different vibe. And I show up. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to open the show. And I actually bring on Juju B. So, uh-huh. so I'm going to go out and open it. And they go, hey, do you want a song to walk out to? And I said, well, what does the stage look like? And they said, it's a long runway. I said, oh, perfect. I'll walk out and do like a slutty little walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll cheer. And I said, just put on Supermodel by RuPaul. Everyone loves that song. The audience will love it. The audience is like 19 years old. They're yeah, going to yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah. And I thought I'm going to turn the corner and be like, you better work. Like, I thought, Come girl. <laughs> yeah. I no. forgot how that song starts. There's a lengthy intro. There's a lengthy intro that I wouldn't say. Des- co- goes with the narrative I was trying to present. No. Or, or describes the person or persona that you've created in any way, in shape, any or way, form. In any way. In uh, fact. So I thought, so what I wanted was to promote this RuPaul song. Mm-hmm. To be fierce, drag, be fierce, drag, be fierce, and if you play a RuPaul song, the audience feels like, oh, I know RuPaul, we, yes. we all know this. We're in that start, universe now. Yeah, yeah, start the show on a good note. Yeah. I forget how it really starts, which is, it's a college show, so they're sober. So when the lights go down, they get silent. They're listening. Oh, they're, they're ready. The track starts. The straight guy with his MacBook goes, hits it. And I'm standing backstage, and I'm with the microphone like this. And the music, I forget how the song really starts, which is... Should I just play it? Absolutely. I'm just going to play you it. You have to. I'm just going to play it. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl from the Brewster Projects. Okay, this is, I, this is how it really started. So imagine a bunch of yeah. 18-year-old I'll, I'll sober that, college kids. Give it up for your host this evening, Trixie Mattel. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl in the Brewster Projects of Detroit, Michigan. At 15... She was spotted by an Ebony Fashion Fair talent scout, and her modeling career took off. You better work. So and then, <laughs> so then, I'm backstage and I'm going, "Oh my god!" And I love this song. Yeah, so I can't believe I forgot how it yeah. really starts. Yeah. And Juju B's looking at me, and she mouths the words, <laughs> "Little black." <laughs> And I'm just like mortified. I'm like, this is so stupid. Like, it's a great song, but oh my God, I forgot the beginning. So then I just walk out and hopefully they barely listened and they were, oh my God. Hopefully they pregame so hard as college yeah, kids that right, they were blackout. Right. Cause I walked out and was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the Arsenio Hall, like way back in the day when he, like when he came out for his monologue one day, he was like, I'm like, hello everybody, please don't adjust your te- television screens. I'm black. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Love that. 
I sh- now <laughs> yeah, I didn't I that's didn't what say you that. Have said. Yeah, maybe maybe you should have been like, no 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 no. Your eyes are not deceiving you, Penn State. Uh, <laughs> but I'm I like, you know black. what? Let's pick this black queer artist who's Fuck. the mother of all drag. Let's put that. To- Let's start the show on the right note, and then that plays. A and little I was like, black. It sounds like fucking Maya Angelou or Aretha Franklin or something. I think it's Martha Wash. Of course it is. There you go. Crazy. That is so crazy. Little black girl from the Brewster Projects in Detroit, Michigan. I just, that's, not, that's not how I would describe myself <laughs> personally. I would, I I would go, once upon a time, there was a little white girl from a trailer. Yeah, a little Ojibwe. Who he, was she, not tra- yeah. scouted by a model <laughs> scout and never will be. Yeah. That's how I would describe myself. So anyway, that was humiliating. A and boy I just, scout from an Ojibwe trailer. <laughs> yes. And I came to see you at Plaza three nights ago. Uh, and Supermodel played. And the wait, memory that I had buried yes. reanimated. Because they, dry, they tried to do the same thing. They tried to play Supermodel. So they tried to do a, um, like a, a runway walk. They queued up a runway track. And then the, the intro played. And I do not believe... That that was intended at all. Yeah. I could be wrong about that, but I was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't think that was relevant in any way, shape, or form to the characters in that particular show as well. I, I'm it's, not going to lie to you. Yeah. That was my favorite cabaret they've done. Oh, really? Was it good? You loved yes. it? It was so, very funny. Andrew, I mean, do you want to set up what it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, oh, and also I'm not going to pat myself on the back. You were great. But I will say that I do deserve the Medal of Freedom. Um, <laughs> a Lifetime Achievement Award. And I am prepping my speech for a Kennedy Center Honors. Uh-huh. Because... Not only was that my first time back in drag in a while, I did uh all day, and then I went home, shaved, reshaved, and re makeuped to do that show. Yeah, I'll I'll hold for applause. I will hold for applause. A standing O would be preferable. That is, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is really crazy. And I for you. every single second after I because we got home from uh at like four. Yeah, yeah. And I was like kind of early. And we get to the studio and I'm looking at Eden and I'm like, I'm staring down the barrel of four hours. Four hours with nothing to do in drag. With nothing to do. See, if, I, if face, I were you. My face was not good. Third time. At the third. Um, you weren't having a good makeup day. No. Skin it looked wise. horrible. It looked horrible. Horrible. What do you think was going on there? Well, it was uh, the, the, I think that my little nose thing was horrible. I think it was exacerbated by that day mostly, but it you was just. a thick beard. I like it, I keep saying it. I have six hour window in drag. Period. Do you want electrolysis? No. no, no, I don't because I know so many people who have had that. It's 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 a long, expensive, painful um, procedure that doesn't necessarily bear fruit. And I also like having a beard when I'm not in drag. I know this might come as a shock to you, but I do enjoy being perceived and you do as a have man. A lot of time out of drag. Thank you. A lot, a of, time lot of, of time. But wait, wait, wait. So I know we're about to film that TV show again. You're going to be in hog heaven because I'm going to be doing something else for a month. Oh, thank, oh my Remember God. when I go to Queen of the Universe and you just fuck around for a month every oh year? Oh, my God. <laughs> when the cat is away, the mouse <laughs> yeah. will play. Oh, I, I forgot. Come back. Ooh, there ain't no other way. <laughs> Girl, I, whenever I come back from a thing on my own, you are like Encino Man cast away, like a beard frozen in ice. I was like. What? Wait, wait. So so we do we do uh, all day. Third, um, third shoot, I was like, over it, over it. Get home. It was hard. I'm like, okay, so I'm like, I could keep this face on. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, this face shouldn't even be on right now. Right. Never mind, keep it on. It's like, you know when uh, Leatherface puts on that- um, The woman the, mask. Yeah, woman yeah. mask. It looked worse than that. So I had to go home. I took a nap and waking up from that nap was like, it was, it was like, you did know you have, how people like- Did you, you have to take your foundation off? I had shave. to completely de-drag. You you got in drag twice. I got in drag. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You didn't just do like the eyes down. Oh, this no. was still bad too. Everything was Shit. bad. Everything was bad Shit. because all the eyeliner was muddy and running. The lashes were like um, a little droopy. Everything needed a, re- a refresh. Everything. The brows were jacked. There was no makeup on the forehead anymore. It was so horrible. Yeah. And then I had to I had to take a um, soaking hot. Um, uh, like rag or uh, face cloth and like moisten my face before I shaved it twice because it was it was raw. Freddy Krueger raw it was raw it was Freddy Krueger it was hamburger it's like a horror meat. movie when you're shaving and blood, blood. is appearing and you're like blood and you're like because I gotta work. go I'm like it's too smooth to do it's too like um short have you thought about shaving every day no matter what 
that's actually worse. But don't you think your skin, if you do it every day, will get used to it? No, that, what happens with that is that it grows faster. So say for example, no, I'm telling you. So if I don't do drag for three days, on the fourth day, and I don't shave for three days, on the fourth day, I'll get the smoothest, longest lasting shave. Oh, because the skin is like... Yeah. Oh, but if I sense. shave every single day, it grows back faster. It grows back faster. That's why five days in drag, it's not happening in a row. Well, when you're shaving hair, yeah. you also are accidentally shaving a layer of skin. Yeah. That's why they say men tend to age slower in this region because if they shave their whole life, you're exfoliating every day your whole life. You're mm. basically micro, like in beauty videos, they're micro planning their skin with like a razor. That's oh. what shaving is. Okay. So it's actually weirdly good for your skin, but not when you immediately no. expose the pore and pack and makeup and pack into it. in dirty brushes and all kinds of debris and nonsense and drama and conforma. But yeah. anyway, so then I, I don't do dirty brushes. Oh, I know. I know I do. I'm disgusting, but it's fine. I, I, my body's a fucking reservoir of, of hell. Get them washed. No, no, Eden washes them now. Oh, that's like, what I mean. Yeah. They, no, they get washed now, but like if it was up to me, anymore. no, if it was up to me, but I, I drove in drag for the first time, hated it. Hated you it. You were driving and drag. I drove myself to the gig because I'm not paying overtime for Miss 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 Pink Little Girl. Oh, for like an Uber? No, it would like, have been it would have been sixty bucks for like an Uber Black. To that I had gig. to go to the gig by myself at, at night. I cannot believe I made it. Ten minutes to spare though. I arrived. The show was at nine. I arrived at eight fifty. That's about when I arrived. In my car. I must arrive right after you. Oh my God. I walked into the dressing room just to say hi to everyone. And I don't super know everyone there, mm -hmm. but everybody knows me through you and, yeah. and Andrew. So yeah. I just always like to pop back and say like, have a good show. Yeah. And I love the plaza and I love the scene. I love, I've seen like the last four of those in a row and love them. Did you see me crouched on the floor? Yeah. I saw you Three crouched on the floor the in front of a fan. Yeah. And Andrew goes, we got her a fan. She's good. I said, well, why don't you get her some formaldehyde? That's what I said to him. <laughs> Because you there were was, crouched with your one. wig on, just blowing in a fan, and I turned. Well, around. But you were like this, <laughs> so you were like this. <laughs> and I walked in, and you had the fan right here, and you were like, <laughs> because so it's like the situation was I was I was expecting. Like, first of all, I couldn't believe that I actually showed up, and so I showed up, <laughs> and um, and I'm like, okay, I'm here in a new outfit. Now what? I was like, now what? I put on the hottest outfit I have. Very hot. The hottest outfit I have, do a fun song and that I've never done. But before that, there's no room in the dressing room. None. None. It's it, about the size of the studio and there's 15, 10 people. Yeah. And it's all people who are like, don't do drag. They're just performing. Um, and there's plenty, it's chock full of stuff. And I, my brain quickly went into, you know what? If this isn't fun, that's a level of absurdity I'm not willing to deal with. Do you know what I mean? If this isn't fun, I'm not willing to be, I'm not willing to complain or be crazy because that's so absurd. I'm not going to live that life. Because if we're not here for fun fans, yeah. if we're not here for money, <clears throat> you got to personally have fun. Yes. When I've DJed like fat slut or something like that. And I'm yeah. like, I don't even know what they're paying me. Probably whatever. Five. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. And I'm like, I just want to feel it. Yeah. But in order for me to have fun, I have to feel I look good. Right. I and that's part of it. If I have to have fun, I have to think I look great. I know. That's what, so that was what I was struggling with. I felt like I was sweating so much. I look in the mirror. Wasn't that bad. No. I just looked like a, a 40 year old woman. Mm. That's what I looked like. Cause I had a little bit of Naomi makeup Watts. on. Yes. Naomi, Naomi Watts put on a, like, she's on a cycle. Naomi and Watts she put, and Connie um, and Carla. <laughs> she, she, Naomi, Tony Collette is what Tony I looked like. Collette and I Connie looked like Tony Collette. But um, I nobody knew I was a surprise like pop up thing, no advertisement, and no. I didn't didn't expect to be paid. Then I go out and do a number that's so weird, and nobody knows the song, and Very I weird. can tell that people were like shocked to realize it was me, but also so confused by what was happening. It actually was. Can I yeah. expound on that? Yeah. I was in the audience. Yeah, I was at the scene of the crime, mm -hmm. and. Plaza is funny because even if you want to drink, it's a quick 45 oh, minute yeah, wait you for a drink, a drink and it's, it's, a, it's a, um, cash only. It's a very cash only situation. It really gave Jacques. It took me, it actually was time oh, travel. I wild. was sitting there watching I love, you lip sync. I like it better than Jacques. It was nice. It was nice. The lighting was good. And I'm sitting there watching you lip sync and I was actually going like, this is weird. Like it's like a time warp to. Yeah. It was weird. A, a drag time warp. Yeah, because I wasn't. That was your life <clears throat> many nights a week. I wasn't announced. Nobody knew who I was. It was like, and I was, I got the same amount of nerves going onto the stage because it was uh, the same behind the curtain. It was the very same similar situation where it's like, these could all be bachelorettes. Some of them even were, or were women who were acting like bachelorettes. Yeah. And, but I got to say, since I quit smoking, I was able, my cardiovascular fitness 
has noticeably improved. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Oh yeah. It's crazy. You can <clears> breathe. <throat> you can breathe. And I'm horny now. <laughs> Um, no, but I was like, You're at going the through end, the change. Uh, yeah. Well, they dropped a house on me and Andrew is like, cause there was a theme, like a wizard of Oz type of Judy Garland type of thing going on. Yes. I, I get a house dropped on me and, um, he's like, can you stay under the house on stage for the whole first part? And I was like, I was like, probably not. Cause I'm just thinking ahead. Like I'll be probably be on. so, oh, no, no. I was probably so hot and sweaty that I'll be like hyperventilating under the thing. So I, I was a trooper. I, I tried to stay under there, like legs out with the with the cardboard house on me until I started to feel the tap 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 of the reaper's touch. Oh, yeah. And I was like I need to get the fuck out of, out of here. There. So I slithered slithered away on my back like shimmy shimmy shoulder. Yeah. And then I slid down the stairs into I the did dressing see room. That. I saw that. You it, slid down the stairs. I slid down the stairs like a fucking like a worm or like a like a piece of furniture that's too heavy. <sighs> yeah. You slide down the stairs. Movers. And college I was, age movers. But then I was done with the with my responsibilities for the evening and I felt so free. I thought you'd immediately leave. You went to the bar. I went to the bar because I and I was like got to see a bunch of friends because I love that crowd. I, I, I love, I love that the crowd. crowd because it's the not, best crowd in LA. Best crowd in LA. No one's a fan of you or no, me. No, it's gay no. guys and We're porn s- people. Gay. And my hot neighbor, my hot neighbor who I haven't met yet, but I've been in communication with. Um, I mean, it's probably a friend thing. He's so hot and he's my age. I just need a neighbor, like friend. State anyway, Farm is there. <laughs> well, because Orville and I have been chatting. You guys are neighbors. Well, no, no, very no. Very close. Yeah, not very close. This guy and I are very close. We're, we're close-ish. Like, we're down the street. Yeah. Orville. I think Brittany lives over there, too. Brittany? Broski. Murphy? Oh, Brittany. Bro- I thought you said Brittany Spears. Yeah, my friend Brittany. Sp- did, you, did you think if I knew Brittany Spears, I would have brought it up at some point in the last eight years? I don't know. What if you just what surprised if, me? What if one day you were like, I was like, my sister got married. And you're like, who? And I was like, Brittany <laughs> Spears. My sister. Have I never mentioned that? What if I just one day was like, oh yeah, no, me, Brittany and Jamie Lynn, we're triplets. They're not even the same age. That's, That's not why possible. That's why your levels were off. <laughs> but no, but my other level being off is, my other level of being off with my horniness is, um, I've also, let's say, trimmed up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I think everyone's trying to fuck me. <laughs> And that might not be true, <laughs> well, wait, wait, but you, that please, has nothing to do with me. Have you told the story about the woman downstairs yet on the pod yet? Have the woman you? downstairs? Yeah. You lost a lot of weight. Very sexy. Oh, <laughs> Ow. there's a woman on my in my. Wait, building. wait. Let's save it for next. Let's on, leave on a cliffhanger. Okay, no, I have on one more story. I have one more story about the the thing though. I okay, okay. Oh, about the plaza. About the plaza. Okay, okay the plaza. Ahead. It's a great show, and okay. no one. And I've had a blast every time. Yeah. Every time it gets better and better. Yeah. The audience is amazing. amazing. It's like artsy gay guys who are there to clap and scream. It's so fun. <sighs> so fun. And the most beautiful porn people I've ever seen. Was that? Absolutely, it He's was. He's so beautiful. It's crazy. All of them are beautiful, and it's like really faggy muscly guys who put on glitter and costumes and act foolish Fools. and i'm way more attracted to perfectly hot people acting like idiots Absolutely. it's way the jesus mm-hmm. not the jesus the uh the he's played jesus before scarecrow sure. austin yes. avery Incredible. always giving comedy but still amazing physique like, i love that like shit. carved out of marble yeah Greek but he God. always is playing something like kind of stupid yeah which like is so fun the lana del rey mermaid you know so funny yes and there's a really hot guy who i've seen like three times at your gig and i hope they're not listening to this but the um who is it i don't care I, whatever he was dentist do you know what I'm oh, talking oh, about? Oh, uh, Dr. Wagner. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, I know I, I, whether or not people are trying to fuck me, that has nothing to do with me anymore. Uh-huh. So I, I'm playing it I'm playing it out my own way. Well, if, so if Pinar I Wagner up, and Associates are listening to this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I was a human rights violation. He comes up and talks to me like a nice person. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and yeah. I think I panicked and immediately tried to find common ground. <laughs> so he starts talking to me and I go, yeah, I got veneers and they were $2,600 a tooth. <laughs> and I just go. <laughs> and he's like it's really cool freak <laughs> no and the, but i think it's because the last time i saw him i don't even know if he heard me but i mm. said do i have to become a patient to get you in my mouth which is a little forward but you know holy shit that I is it was like kind of comedy though at the plaza that's comedy that's comedy anything goes, comedy. Anything comedy. goes yeah. with a plaza <laughs> and then the I, plaza <laughs> and i always start talking to him about dr sun my dentist like it's a colleague of his and he's like <laughs> Every dentist he's knows like each yeah other. I, I think i i think i've heard of her practice over on and i was like yeah dohini <laughs> She's amazing. He's like, okay. You should have lunch with her. I'll schedule it tomorrow for you. <laughs> I know. Just an, anyway. You but, know? But, but you know what? I, the, you know, the real tragedy is that I'm out of their network now. They don't take my dental insurance anymore. It's a wrap. Dr. Wagner? 
Yeah, Pinar Wagner. Don't take my fucking Delta Dental. Delta Dental. Why don't you well, I'm gonna suck stop putting my out ass? Too. I'm going to stop putting out then. Yeah, because you that's won't not fuck right. them until Delta Dental comes through. I refuse through. to <laughs> fuck people at that office until they give her some free crowns. Thank you. No, I just want a free cleaning. <laughs> oh, a crown. Free cleaning. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.